my gosh. I am so late if I can just catch my breath. Anyway, hello everybody. Oh man, I am so late. On my way here, a herd of elephants was crossing the street and you know how slow elephants move. Did I say elephants? I mean giant woolly mammoths. Oh wait, those don't exist anymore, right? Okay, man, I'm sorry, that wasn't the truth. The truth is, and it's kind of embarrassing, I misplaced my car key somewhere. So I had to run here. I have no idea where they went. I went on a safari adventure drive, but that's the last place I had them. I'm sorry for not telling you the truth at first. Why does telling a lie sometimes just seems so much easier to do? Hey, you know what? You should talk about that. Let me call up a friend as we jump into our Life Kids Online. Grab your Life Kids kit and get your families because it's time for Life Kids at Home, where we explore God's Word with our friends, Caden and Miss Lori. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Caden, how are you? Surviving the cold out in England? Hey, Miss Lori. Oh man, it's not too bad here. Uh, believe it or not, we finally got some weather that's above 50 degrees. So I can actually wear about four layers now. Look at that, doing all right. That's weird. I can't imagine you wearing anything but a t-shirt. Hmm. And speaking of wearing new things, are those new sunglasses? Uh, do I look cool now? I mean, I've, I've always been cool, uh, but I thought, but now I look a bit more cool, right? I should be riding a motorcycle. I don't know. Those don't look quite real. All right, you caught me. Uh, those sunglasses, they weren't real. Sorry. I think we all know this one isn't real either. Uh, how did you know? I think you're using a face filter to make yourself look all silly. Well, I like it. Sometimes when I want to make myself laugh, I'll just make a video of myself trying on these face filters. This is not what you actually look like though, so it's not really truthful. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, I, I can take it off. I just gotta find, press one of these buttons here. It's not a problem, Caden. Don't worry. It's not wrong to play with funny filters like that. They're kind of like a funhouse mirror. Have you seen any of those before? Do they, do they make it look like this? Hey, bingo! Today, we're talking about truth and how to find it. Can you use this as an example of what it means to find truth? I forgot, there we go, I am back to normal. See, all those filters, they change my reflection, right? Uh, none of those are how we actually look. But when I have a video just like this, you know, I see how I'm supposed to look. This is the truth. Now this is the real you. Yes, on occasion, things and people in this world act like those face filters. They don't show the truth. But Jesus, on the other hand. He can show us the truth about anything we need and wanna know and what is really there. Have you ever tried to think about all the fake things in life? Like what? Like, okay. Have you ever seen false advertising? Oh, plenty. One time I was trying to get this giant stuffed bear that I could hug. It was supposed to be so big that it could barely fit in my house. But when it arrived, it turned out to be just a keychain. The website I bought it from had lied. That is unbearable. <laughs> I wish I had kept it on my key ring though. Maybe it would have made it easier to find my keys. There are so many things in this world that can be fake or misleading, but we want you to know that we should not always be afraid of the world for that reason. We just need to look at it carefully. When it comes to false advertising or artificial ingredients and things like that, all I have to do is look a little closer. Maybe study it a bit. Well, Miss Lori, I mean, not everything is that easy to study. Uh, what about God or evil or heaven? I mean, these are all 
much more difficult things to explore and look at. I, you can't just read the ingredients or the customer reviews for God. I mean, believe me, I've tried. Like, how do I find the truth about these questions? How do I find the real thing? Well, I have a little object lesson that might be able to help. I'll be right back. But in the meantime, kids, we have a question for you to talk over with your family for the next minute or so. Has anyone ever told you the truth about something that was really hard to hear? Feel free to pause this video as you think about it. If you don't think you've ever had someone tell you some tough truth, don't worry. We'll all hear some truth that is tough to hear in our lives. Yeah, recently my brother told me I snore at night. I didn't know that, and I didn't want to know that, you know? Caden, I'm so sorry. That's hard. Now, do you see these two jars here? They both say surprise inside, but actually only one of them has a surprise inside and the other one is empty. How do you think we can figure out which jar has something hidden inside of it? Oh, I know. You should just like shake the jar around and see if you can hear something inside of it. Oh wait, actually, no, actually never mind. That would make a big mess. Bad idea. It, don't listen to me. That's a good idea though. The actual answer has to do with the person who can always show us the truth. What about our third jar? Oh, does, does that jar say Jesus on it? Yep. Now watch this. We're going to fill the first two jars with the stuff in the jar that represents Jesus. Let's see what happens. One of those jars was a liar. Oh, <laughs> so there was no surprise in there after all? Just like how this third jar shows us which jar was telling the truth, Jesus reveals to us the truth. So it's Jesus. Yep, I, I should have known. Uh, that's usually the answer. So Jesus can point to the truth. Caden, it's so much more than that. Have you ever read John 14, 6? Oh, totally but I'm not so sure if the kids have all read it, so maybe you want to remind them what it is, uh, just in case. Kids, I totally forgot what verse she is talking about. Jesus says in John that he was the way, the truth, and the life. Did you catch that? He is truth itself. Wow, that's quite a statement. That is why it's so important that we understand who Jesus is and learn all that we can about him. If he is truth itself, then all we need to do is become like him. I was wondering why we talk about this Jesus guy all the time. I mean, just kidding. So is he gonna help me figure out how big this stuffed teddy bear is gonna be as I ordered off Amazon right now? Because I don't wanna be tricked by any false advertising. I only want the truth. How big is this teddy bear? Jesus gave you the brains to figure stuff like that out yourself. You have brains just like all these kids. But when our brains aren't smart enough to figure out the truth, that is why we have been practicing to be like Jesus every way we can because he is true itself. Can't go wrong with that. 
Amen. Caden, we're going to let you go. So kids, go ahead and say goodbye. Well, goodbye everybody. Have a great time at worship. Oh, that's right. Let's take a moment to celebrate what it means for Jesus to be our truth. Stand up, my friends, and worship with God with us. priceless treasure god knows me god hears me god is my comfort i am his and there's nothing better forgiven and chosen forever i am a treasure That was a wonderful time worshiping. And you know what? I just realized we never checked out what the surprise was in the other jar. I was kind of curious. You want to check it out with me? Hmm, let's see. What's in there? Wow, it's way down there. A paper clip. Man, I could have used that this morning when I couldn't find my keys. 